And now I'm going to take the casters apart. And this is just so I can get all the hair out of the wheels. And you can even do this without having to take the whole assembly off. You just go ahead and unscrew your caster. Unbolt your caster off. This is how I changed my casters. I got my original caster sitting up on my desk that I'll show you guys when I finish doing all this. The trickiest part about putting these caspers back together is these bushings inside of here. You can see there's two copper bushings inside of there. It's kind of hard to line those up sometimes. That's about the hardest part there is in doing your casters. tighten them, you will need an Allen wrench on both sides of the caster in order to tighten it properly. Once you have it tightened down all the way, if your caster isn't spinning properly, all you gotta do is just back it off just a tiny bit and re-snug it. Just keep doing that until you get the right thickness, the right tightness that you want for your caster to spin freely. Continue cleaning these parts here. Some of you guys are probably noticing the bowling pins in the background. I'm going to be taking those bowling pins down to the range sometime in the next couple weeks and blowing the crap out of them with a 12 gauge shotgun and a 45 millimeter handgun. And also, my buddy's got an AR-15 and a cup and a 30-30 and a couple other nice things that we're going to be using to blow stuff up with. So you guys can stick around and watch that one. That's going to be a nice one. All right, and then uh, what I want to do is 
on a... Well, I'll show you guys afterwards. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint this with uh, a black paint marker. I'm trying to see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, it's not over there. But no, either, either a Sharpie or a black paint marker will clean up all this stuff once it's back on and tightened down. So. It's always good to do one side at a time so you don't get no bolts mixed up or anything like that. remember there's a spacer plate that goes in between and you want the thick part to go towards the back side of the chair where this with the spacer and if you're ever wondering where the position of something needs to go you always reference the other side of the chair
The only reason why these things have to be so accurate is because your chair will wander to the left or the right if it's not very spot on. Just like your car pulls to the left or the right if the alignment's off, this is basically the alignment on your chair that is adjustable. There's one side done. And now we get to see how clean this is. Check out how clean this is now, look at that. You can eat off of this thing now. The caster's all nice and pretty. The underneath side's nice and pretty. The inside's nice and pretty. I'll take a quick glance at this side. Yeah, look how yummy that looks. That's what the other side did. That's what the other side looked like. Right. So now, right, I'll get back to you guys on the next step.